Hey everyone, and welcome back to another video in my series. My name is Boom Shaka, and yesterday I spoke about the question that I had, where new souls come from. And when I posted that video, a lot of people had a lot of different questions for me and a lot of suggestions for adding on to this video um, so other people can learn from it. And so I'm doing a second part, basically, of that video where I speak a little bit more about past lives and reincarnation and, and questions like that which came up over and over again in my conversations with people. Now one of the mistakes I made last in the video yesterday is that I said there were 84,000 lives um, in the Hindu belief and it's actually I was corrected by one of my great friends Nimitta and she said that we actually say it's 8.4 million lives and that's all of the different species so we don't, it's not only just the fact that we are human in all of those 8.4 million lives, but we actually go through all of the different, uh, we are different species in those different lives. And the human uh, aspect of it is actually um, when we are almost at the point of enlightenment, we're close to it. And it's like a reward that's given to us because the humans are the only ones with the, the sort of consciousness that can ask questions like this. I'm sure animals don't sit around a campfire asking, each other, you know, do you think God exists or um, do you think that I was alive in a past life? You know, questions like that probably don't come up in their conversations. And so that's the reason the hum human species is considered the pinnacle. And in the Hindu scriptures, we are considered, you know, the ultimate. Everyone, all the species are kind of moving or trying to move towards that. Again, I don't know how much I believe in that aspect of it, obviously, right? I mean, I am I am a Hindu, but I'm, I'm more spiritual than I believe in the Hinduism, in all of the different aspects of Hinduism. The reincarnation aspect, the past life aspect, I believe in because there is so much evidence to prove for it. I mean, there's so much data out there. Uh, not only the fact that, you know, there are near-death experiences all the time, and when people have those near-death experiences, people, those individuals come back and they tell us all of these different amazing details about their near-death experiences. One of the things that Anita Murjani, one of the ladies who went through one of these experiences and she's become a famous author and speaker, one of the things that Namita told me, she says, is that past lives are not occurring, you know, in a, in a linear manner. Um, they're all occurring at once. We're, we're going through several different lives at the same time. And that's because time isn't linear. We only make it so in our minds because that's how humans understand time. There is, if you try to understand time as it actually exists, the fact that there is no beginning and there is no end and everything is happening at the same time, it is just impossible for our puny human minds to to understand that. It's it's only the minds, the great minds of Einstein um, or, you know, people like that who can kind of grasp even a little bit of it and even then they have a hard time with it. So for us in this linear world that we live in where time moves, you know, one after another, we have a hard time understanding that past lives actually happen all simultaneously. And that's a really interesting concept for me because if everything is happening at the same time, Obviously, I do believe in past lives and I, I do believe that I have lived several lives before and I will be living several after because I'm definitely not at the point of enlightenment or at a point where I can tell the universe, okay, I'm done, I'm done with these, these lives, I want to go back or restart or whatever it might be. So obviously I am at a point where I'm still growing and learning and my, my soul is still evolving. But if all of my lives are happening at the same time, if time isn't linear, then I am in a parallel universe somewhere, living a life where I am maybe married and with kids or working a nine to five job or who knows what, you know, I'm living all of these different lives. The interesting thing to me is that because there is only one soul that is living all of these different lives, my soul is gaining learnings from these different past lives, from these different lives at the same time. So you know when you get those eureka moments or when you suddenly realize you have an aha moment and you're like, oh my god, how did I get this random thought? It's probably because one of your other lives, you know, one of your other parallel selves is going through a similar situation 
and had that aha moment or had that learning in that other life and that other life kind of translated over to you because your soul is exactly the same in all of these lives and that is what I believe and I, I think I think that has to be true you're not going to have different souls living different lives so your spirit or your soul remains exactly the same but your soul is going through different lives in different iterations of the universe and it's learning through all of these different things so sometimes when quantum leaps happen when you are able to realize something without actually going through the intermediary steps I believe it also is because of the fact that your soul is actually going through so many different lives at the same time and so there's so many learnings that happen in all of these different lives and because of these learnings you're able to gain these quantum leaps in your business in your personal life in your relationships you're able to learn so much more but if you don't believe in past lives I mean obviously it doesn't matter if you believe in it or not if it's happening it's happening but when you don't believe in all of these different universes or all of that stuff all this magic that is present in the universe you know the universe is for me a magical place I always say to people that I believe in the existence of unicorns and fairies because first of all there's so many different universes so many parallel universes so many different worlds that are possible how do you know that they don't exist on that world and the fact that someone actually thought of it thoughts create reality the fact that someone actually had a thought that a unicorn exists or fairies exist means that that thought has to come from somewhere some collective consciousness everything that we imagine is present in this universe somehow at least in my thinking the imagination creates our reality um, all of this that we are living in right now this this how this the internet the world wide web all of that stuff was just a thought in someone's head at one point and if you had told someone 50 years ago that you'd be doing all these things obviously they would have laughed at your face and in 50 years I'm sure the stuff that's gonna happen is going to be miraculous and and unbelievable to us right now so the fact that someone actually thought of it makes me believe that unicorns and fairies and all fairies and all of those interesting intricate things that we believe are just figments of our imagination actually do exist somewhere in the universe that is what my belief is and so we live in this amazing magical world and how can we not believe that you know that we've lived through this over and over again how can we only believe that this is the only good that we have at it maybe that I'm being naive and I'm thinking this way because I want to believe that I have another chance at life maybe I'm being naive to think that because I want to believe that this is not the only life I get to live because life is just so wonderful and I want to live over and over and over again so I can learn as much as possible maybe I am being naive in this whole situation but I do know this that we do live in a magical world and the reason I believe in it is because I'm able to manifest stuff just through the power of my thinking. I'm able to think, make things happen because I believe in it strongly enough and I think about it strongly enough and I'm able to make amazing things happen. And so I want you guys to think about all these things, not because you know I'm trying to force you to believe in it, but because I want you to keep an open mind. I mean, just think about it this way. Just a few years ago, the World Wide Web, the internet, was not available to us. Um, drones weren't available, you know. Facebook Live wasn't available. I mean, I'm just being fascistic here, but there's so many things right now that would have been absolutely crazy to think about a few years ago. So why not believe or try to open your mind up to the possibility of past lives, reincarnation, parallel universes, all of these things are possible. What do we know in our mere meager existence like we are just we live for a hundred years barely whereas the earth and the universe has been alive for billions of years so in our you know small existence what do we really know like how much do we really know and in that I want you to believe that maybe this world is more than you actually believe this to be I want you to think maybe it's not just this physical world that we live in but maybe there's more to it and when you start expanding your thinking, your consciousness that way, you start believing that maybe there is more. Maybe you start, you start opening your mind up to all the different possibilities. There's so much information, more information that can come at you. And there's so much more learning that happens because of it. So I'll be speaking a lot more about this stuff because I love talking about this stuff. Um, and so hopefully you guys will keep up with me. And if you guys have any questions or 
If you think that something that I've said is incorrect, please correct me. I am not an expert. This is just something that I love to think about, I love to talk about, I love to read about. So I'm always, always looking forward to hearing from you guys. So I hope that you guys have an amazing day. If you guys are interested, you can join my free Facebook group, The Millionaire Heavy. If not, I'll talk to you guys the next time around, tomorrow. Um, have an amazing day. Bye for now.